Keen and Won't Be Broken. It's just coming out to half past two. It's BBC Wiltshire. And it's the, the part of the week we always love. It's where we celebrate the delights of baking in here in Wiltshire. Uh, we call it uh, Cake of the Week. Uh, but I've got to be honest, there's always a touch of guilt when we bring you, I don't know, a recipe for that Rocky Road slice or the double chocolate delight. But today, we might have cracked it. A healthy cake? Is this possible? Angela Ross runs fitness boot camps all over Wiltshire and she's co-written a cookbook called 30 Days of Fat Loss, Sweet Treats and Savoury Snacks. And she joins us now. Good afternoon to you. Hi, Sue. Thank Thanks you for, for coming me. in. Thank you. As she said, I breathed in as you did that. Now, this surely isn't right. How can cake be healthy? OK, you can have your cake and eat it um, when you're trying to eat healthily. Um, the, the trick is not to have too much of a good thing. OK, so it's moderation we're talking about. Uh, there is moderation, but also making sure that the ingredients are pure, healthy ingredients. And I can see you raising your eyebrows there, looking at the cake. <laughs> OK, so tell me the ingredients you would say, suggest if we're looking for something that's healthy to go for and the ones to avoid. OK, um, real ingredients, staying away from any kind of sweetness. Um, I'd be shooting for things like oats, uh, blueberries, fresh fruit, not dried fruit, using real organic butter, don't be using any low-fat spreads or anything like that, raw honey. See, um, that would be surprise people. Oh, butter instead of a low-fat spread, because people think, oh, a low-fat spread, that must be healthier than butter. Yeah, it's, it's not particularly good for you. Um, in my opinion, margarine low-fat spreads are... Uh, they're pretty dangerous to your health, so I would always shoot for full-fat butter, always. Because I did read some of the, 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 the numbers of uh, amounts of butter being sold has actually increased. It has and increased, And margins yeah. gone down, which is yeah. quite a, kind of an interesting thing. Well, yeah. Does it taste, let's be honest, a hand on heart, does it taste as good? You're going to be the judge of that, aren't you? Oh, I am. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at me. So, um, tell us first of all about what you got into. Why did you get into the idea of healthy eating? Um, okay, well, I've been... Um, I've been coaching women for um, probably around about a decade now, women who have come to me last resort looking to lose weight, um, get fit, etc. And one of the big things that's always come back to me is I'm really bored of eating the same foods. You know, um, we can't, I can't sit down and eat with the family and I'm really struggling. And they just needed, needed help and what to choose. Um, eating healthy isn't as hard as people think. It's just a bit boring having to sit down to chicken and broccoli every day when you're trying to lose a few pounds. And so on the premise of that, I started to write my very first cookbook probably about five years ago um, and have written a series of cookbooks um, since uh, that's the idea behind the cookbooks. And the latest one is, is 30 days of fat loss. Is it something that 30 days, it doesn't sound very long, the whole scheme of things, as you say, when you have women specifically coming to you saying, you know, years I've been doing this. Is, is it possible you could see results in that amount of time? You'll definitely see some results. Uh, but what I don't do is I never say to anyone, it's a quick fix. You know, we're not a, um, a magic pill. There is no magic pill or portion. If there was, we'd all be super slim, beautiful and all, you know, really happy. Um, so the 28 days you will see, or 30 days, sorry, you will see... Uh, quite dramatic results and you'll feel better which is a massive you know boost to your confidence and and the subject the sweet treats and the savory snacks is that is that a real sort of um tricky bit for some people that, that idea of just the snacking bit because it's, it's the kind of stuff you don't actually sort of think of as food you just say oh i, I have a lunch i have a dinner and you forget about all those little snacks you had in between yeah I, I kind of understand what you're saying uh for some people they do need to have that snack whether it's mid-afternoon or late morning or whatever um so you know the reason behind the cookbook is to give you a healthier option and an option that's super tasty because i'm sure you're gonna uh, well we'll find out in a moment <laughs> oh, and the book, book counts in sounds then it sounds scary because because you're doing them in places like tidworth yeah. which has like an army connotations <laughs> so is it a, is it a scary thing are you shouting a lot of the time angela i never shout okay i never shout yeah i don't think you need to do that to people i don't think you need to do that to women i don't think women respond to it i don't know about you but i don't personally like it if anyone shouts at me um so yeah we're uh, we just get on with it you know our ladies are there for a reason they're there to boost their confidence lose weight feel great about themselves and if we're going to stand over them shouting and screaming that's just not going to happen but are they doing physical exercise? They are doing physical exercise, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Outside in the fresh air, all weathers, yeah, we'll be out in that tonight. All weathers? All weathers, yeah. So if it's raining and it's freezing cold, are you still going out there? You just get wet, you just get cold. <laughs> Don't mind the flashback at PE lessons and kind of got into there. It was not a good vision. Okay. Well, look, you've very kindly you've you've um you've given us a, a recipe. Now, what is this recipe for? Okay. So we've got today. We have got. So let me just have a look and see which one I've got in there. Um, it is the blueberry and coconut snack bars. I've baked it 
um, like a cake and then we cut it into little squares um, you can freeze it so as not to overindulge in sitting it the whole pot if you like um, or you can bake it and you know give it away to friends family etc it's great for kids lunch boxes as well if you okay. don't tell them it's healthy they'll 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 love it okay so so you've bought um you've brought, have you brought a knife along i have brought a knife oh, along i'm goodness. well equipped yeah you're a woman prepared i just want to get the knife away from you <laughs> <laughs> so, so whilst you do that is it all right if i cut into this yeah, you, yeah. So you've done it as a big slab we've got a picture as well on the facebook page so. you cut a slice i'm not sure um how it, it's still quite warm so uh what is yeah, it? yeah it might be a little bit crumbly there that's fine don't be worried about me i'll get, <laughs> I'll get my way through it so the price we have to pay is of course the cake the big jingle so here we go. Cake of the week, cake of the week. Cake of the week, cake of the week. Cake of the week, cake of the week. Cake of the week. Cake of the week. So there we go. It is a healthy cake, we are told. It is blueberry and coconut snack bars. It's from Angela Ross, uh, the author of 30 Days of Fat Loss. Right, off you go. What do we do to make this then, Angela? Uh, really easy. We've got six ingredients. I'm lying, we've got seven ingredients actually. We've okay. got seven ingredients, melt the butter and honey in a large saucepan, uh, throw in a couple of really ripe bananas, the riper the better, um, mix that into a bowl with some oats, some desiccated coconut, organic if you can get it, um, packet of blueberries and a little bit of zest of lemon and orange. Mix, mix all that together, put it into a tray, bake it for 30 minutes and you're good to go. It's a great pudding as well as a bit of a snack bar. When it's cool, it goes quite hard, a bit like a, a little bit like a muesli bar. Um, mm. You're having a little bit there. It's still quite warm. It's a bit cakey, right? Yeah. So you yeah. could have this. You could have it either. Yeah, either way. I would, See, I was thinking, oh, big dog for cream. I think. Right. <laughs> I've and gone with, wrong some, with some with some natural yogurt, that would be yeah. a great pudding for for children. Sure. Well, as you say, this is the kind of cereal bar that you could pay quite a lot of money for if it was wrapped up in foil and you've got no idea what's gone in there. Absolutely, and m most of the, uh, the ingredients in cereal bars aren't actually healthy. Um, that, you know, we, that makes about 30 bars, small squares, uh, probably for about four quid. Right. That's not a bad, that's not a bad, uh, a bad well, amount. I've tasted it and it, it, if I didn't know it was healthy, I don't think I'd know, I, it would twig. I think actually it's, it's not something that's going to pile on the pounds. Brilliant. How do we find out more about the recipes and what you get up to, Angela? Okay, and um, the recipes for um, this specific um, blueberry and coconut snack bar are in my 30 Days of Snacks, uh, sorry, savoury, savoury Snacks and Sweet Treats. You can grab yourself a copy of that if you like. Visit bootcamp.com forward slash BBC. Um, head on over there and you'll get yourself uh, a copy of the, the recipe book there. If you want to find out anything more about the book camps, just head over to physiquebookcamp.com um, or send me an email. Brilliant. Angela Ross, thank you very much for joining us. And that's a particular recipe for the healthy blueberry and coconut snack bars. We've put it on the Facebook uh, page for BBC Water as well. And that and a picture you can see in all its glory. <laughs> Cake of the week, cake of the week, cake of the week, cake of the week.